Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to just uh, you know, explain um, how to retry the uh, value of the signal. So, what is the syntax? And it's let let me show you in a simpler way to understand. Make you understand. Yeah, this is a CAN database. Uh, CAN say DVC. All right. So if you see, we have so many signals. So I'll pick one signal to showcase you. That is a crash sensor. And coming to this, we see here you can see messages and signals. All right. So in the under signals, it's a, you can see the crash sensor signal. And this crash sensor signal has been mapped to crash sensor message. Fine. So, so I just I'm just clicking here, and if you see, you can you can see some values like initial value, factor, offset, minimum value, maximum value, and so on. So now I just would like to showcase you how to retrieve the uh, initial value, factor, offset, minimum, and maximum. All right. So I'll just pick one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, these five, and these are all from the signal. Okay, for this. The prerequisite is you have to add this particular database into this Cano measurement window. All right. So in sorry, uh, Cano simulation in this particular configuration, you have to add it. See here, I how I added this. Have to go to the simulation setup. Simulation setup under Can. I have added this database as a do. All right. So now uh, let me open this programming node there is a program node or anything you can call it as yes mm, I'll just give on start and on start I want the program uh, what I want exactly is the crash sensor signal all right so it is in the inside the messages crash sensor message mm, what I'll do is first I'll declare a variable like because as it is a integer I am giving I'm going for an integer integer uh, I'll give what I'll give is I'll give factor factor and offset okay factor integer factor is equal to this is the signal name I'll copy the signal name then it is in the message I can copy this dot mm, what value I want is first the factor so it came yeah all right now what I'll do is I'll give a right the factor value for the crash sensor is percentage D I'll give factor yes I hope it works yes no home with this I'll give say give compile yes it compile successfully I'll give run The factor value for the crash sensor is one. Let's see the factor value. What it is? Yes, it is one. Let's in a similar way. We'll try to get the offset, minimum, and maximum. Right. So, in time, let me stop this configuration. Int. Mm, what I what next is offset. We can go offset. Yes. Offset is equal to crash sensor message dot crash sensor by this time it should come sig dot offset where is offset yes it is and let me give one more at least so we'll give um, maximum I'll give maximum max 
un minimo molto Questions or message dot signal dot maximum similarly going for minimum yes and here let me write can write in the same uh, statement but just to showcase a difference I'll write this here the offset the offset value the max the minimum value yeah I think except this offs offset all should be one right see offset is zero factor is one minimum is one maximum is one if you want you can use min initial value also but still it's well and good sufficient to show you the syntax that is uh, you can declare as a variable and you can use as a message then you can use as a signal then you can use whatever the parameters you want to broadcast right yes see the factor value for the crash insert is one the offset value is zero maximum value is one and minimum value also one all right yes now as we discussed in the previous video let me push all I mean uh, change make everything in this variable block yes and it make no no difference but still we'll write in the right window we'll try to see yes it's working all right so it's all about this so how to print some or how to retrieve the data in the signal yes this is the syntax you should follow it's like um, message name and okay let me check without a without this message let's see what happens so here I, I gave only the signal no message I gave and let's see what happens is yes it works it works all right so but why we used message so maybe in our upcoming videos we can give you a glimpse about it but still uh, for a short like to avoid ambiguity we are going for this particular flow all right even if I remove entire message it should work yes I don't think so it will it will create any issues yes it worked but if I give only the message name what will happen let, let me let me comment out everything except this and I'll give you give only message directly let's see how it works so now here I gave only message right the minimum value of the crash sensor is zero it gave but the value is wrong because the minimum value is one right so why it gave because it, it assumed that it doesn't has any value but if I give the signal name dot crash underscore sensor underscore sig see it's giving an actual value so 
when I gave only with the message it gave some garbage value that is it's not garbage value it's like a, a kind of a default value it took as a zero but this is the actual value all right so we can give without message but we should not give without signal and we can give with message and signal without with the parameter whatever you want all right so this is just a um, uh, just a format that you should follow and even you can include the node name if you have a multiple nodes now we don't have multiple nodes so i have just written only this otherwise you can use also use like this maybe in our upcoming videos we can have more info about this okay so database doesn't have it yeah so maybe we can get this in upcoming videos yes and if you have any queries please feel free to get back to us and we'll catch you in the next video